Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So only three days are left for your Comet K2024 examination. So in this video, we'll be discussing the last three days strategy that you should follow to improve your scores. So here I'll be discussing like what things you should do, what, what you should not do and what like how you should revise and uh, how you should attempt the mock test. So all will have a brief strategy. So please watch this video till the end so that you can apply it and then improve your scores for your Comet K 2024 examination. So let us start here. So first of all, it is very important now that you have to have a proper schedule. Okay. So what is this proper schedule should consist of? Give time to all the three subjects. Okay. So based on your level of preparedness, like whether you are uh, weak in any subject or how much you have prepared, how many chapters are left from any topic, assign a proper schedule for the all like all the three subjects and follow it very religiously. Only three days are left. So don't like at this point of time, you should be very serious for your preparation. And then include breaks while uh, preparing the schedule. So don't put like continuous 14 hours, 12 hours, 8 hours of studies. Keep adequate breaks so that you are recharged and you can study properly. Okay. So first of all, for the last three days, just prepare a schedule properly. And next is prior prioritize the topics. Okay. So now you have been like you have already known what are the high weightage topics, what are the low weightage topics. So already it is discussed many times. So just give time to prepare the high weightage topics. So revise all the important concepts, important formulas, important questions from these high weightage topics. And uh, especially for all the three subjects in general, the class 12 topics are very, very important. So prepare them and do the important questions from them. And uh, like if in from PU1 also is some some topics are important so just do them so the main focus for this last three days should be on the high weightage topics okay so next is your previous year questions it is very important so if you haven't solved any previous year question so three days are left so at least try to solve last two years of pre previous papers this is very important to understand or to know the exam pattern and the question type like for example you are studying a chapter and you haven't seen any previous year question you cannot guess like what type of questions are asked. For example, if solutions chapter is there, there is very uh, less questions from concentration terms, but more questions are asked from colligative properties. So you can understand from a particular chapter which topic should be focused. So that will be more clear once you go for previous year papers. So just solve at least uh, three days are left. So try to solve at least one or two years of previous year papers. That is very important. So this you can also anticipate the type of questions that will be being asked in the actual exam, right? So from last many years, this uh, topic questions have been asked. So you can revise them properly. So if you haven't uh, done this, so in our video also we have the uh, we have solved previous year 2023 and 2022 papers so just watch them it is subject wise so whichever topic you want you can revise it and that will be really helpful and you will help it will help you to understand the exam also next next is the most important thing that is revision okay so revise all the important formulas concepts okay from all the high weightage topics you must have your like uh, like the short notes from where you have written all the formulas and all. So use those things to revise them. And then one more thing that you have to revise is whenever you have solved any previous year questions, mock test or uh, chapter wise questions, there will be some questions that you could not have solved at the one time, like that the first time you didn't able to solve these questions. So those questions you should have marked, you might have marked and kept it. So review those questions. Okay, what was like, uh, are you still like solve those questions again? And are you still not able to solve it? Then practice it some more times. Okay. So that is important. Review the wrong questions and solve them again. Revise from the short notes or you can have flashcards, formula sheets, anything you can use, but don't go for any books or um, any textbook or reference book at this point of time. That is not at all recommended. Okay. Next is mock test. So like three days are left now, you can write at least one or two mock tests. This is very, very important because the exam is in uh, like online mode. So first of all, you can write the mock test that is present in your uh, Comet K website to understand the computer based interface to like to know the navigation options, to go the review options, how we can review, how to go to the next question, how to see all the questions at all time. So these things, you should not waste time in the exam to for searching these all things, right? So make yourself very comfortable with the computer based test pattern. So that is very important. Then whenever you write the mock test, write under the exam conditions to know that whether you are able to com uh, complete all the 180 questions in the third, like in three hours or not, right? So that is very important. Next, practice time management techniques. So 
here i'll be telling like uh, you have to allocate the proper time for all the three subjects okay so according to my suggestion please start with chemistry and then physics and then go for maths because maths takes a lot of time the questions are not very easy even the easy questions take a lot of time so divide your time so like you can give 40 minutes to chemistry 50 minutes to physics and rest 70 minutes to maths okay so and the rest 20 minutes will be left right in that 20 minutes you can use for reviewing the paper and making some strategic guesses so we'll be making a detailed video on how to attempt the paper so in that we will discuss this in detail but now when you are writing the mock test also you try keep a proper time track so 40 minutes you have to means you have to read all the 60 questions of chemistry in that 40 minutes okay so that is how your pattern should be next is allocate time for each section and the question type that is there now ensure all questions are attempted in time okay so whether you attempt or not you should take care that at least you are able to read all the 60 questions in this 40 minutes all the 60 questions of physics in the 50 minutes and all the 60 questions from maths in 70 minutes okay so whether you are able to attempt or not whether you are able to solve or not but you must check all the questions so that will keep a track that you are not wasting a lot of time in any particular question okay next is practice guesswork elimination methods in the question so when you are trying to solve these questions so just try to eliminate and try to uh, like you some logic guess how you can guess the question so that also will be discussing in our paper attempting uh, strat strategy video so this is what you have to do in the mock test okay first is you have to write in the exam conditions you have to be very uh, thorough very familiar with the cbt mode then you can practice your time management technique so when you are writing so please keep this time so this is what i suggest but it's not like hard and fast rule you can follow if your own time this is a suggestion based on because chemistry papers comes easy and it doesn't have much calculation so that can be solved easily and once you are very confident as your start is very positive you will get uh, you'll be boosted up for the the for the whole throughout the exam right okay next is your maintain healthy lifestyle so less three three days are left it's very important that you use this time wisely you are very well uh, like healthy for the exam both physically and mentally so just take uh, healthy and nutritious meals take at least seven to eight hours of sleep so now your brain requires proper rest so that it can recollect and retain all the information that you have stored in your brain next drink plenty of water and stay hydrated because it helps to make uh, maintain concentration and next is you can just involved in light physical activities like walking and also that your body is active okay your body should be very active at this point of time to grasp to understand and to react to different situations Okay, next is okay stay calm this is very important last three days are left so don't panic at all whatever you have studied in the last uh, like one year two years that is all you are going to put in the paper so just uh, stay calm stay positive surround yourself with the people who can motivate you okay and then visualize your success this is very important so if you have prepared really well just imagine that you have cracked the exam you have got good ranks good colleges and your future is going to be very bright so just believe in your abilities trust your preparation okay do not panic at all clear now after this here are some uh, list of things that you must avoid in the last three days okay that you should know what to do and what not to do at also so these are the things that you must avoid first is cramming do not learn any new things at this point of time just revise on what you have already studied do multiple revisions of them do multiple times the practice questions of those which you have already studied next next is your late night studies so don't go for uh, late night studies take proper sleep that is very important to retain the information you might be studying for the whole night and then exam you will be completely blank right so that is why it is very important to just may avoid late night studies at this point of time then overthinking so whatever syllabus you have completed not completed just do not overthink and do not be greedy that i'll study this that at this point of time don't think just believe that whatever you have prepared from that the questions will be coming and you will be able to do it best okay because now even if you do overthinking you cannot change anything and you, rather you will ruin whatever you could have done okay next is your comparison so just don't talk with your friends like how much you have prepared how much i have prepared how many portions are completed so this will demotivate you or it may demotivate your friends also if you have prepared more and they have prepared less so don't to avoid such type of discussions do not compare any preparation do not compare marks of other 
uh, students mark, uh, mock test with your marks okay so just be with yourself be with your preparation and be completely focused at this point of time then ignoring health so as i already told you your health should be very uh, like completely okay for this exam you should not be uh, like uh, you should not fall sick at this point of time and mentally physically well-being is very very important to perform better okay the next one is panicking so do not panic at all whatever you have prepared that is very uh, like that is well that that is important for your exam and that much preparation whatever you have done now panicking will ruin it so just believe in whatever you have prepared do not panic at all okay yeah so these were the last three days strategy for improving your scores so just uh, follow this okay then and whatever things are told not to do just avoid those things then you can have a positive mindset for the exam your results will come very good okay so if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe and uh, all the very best for your exam thank you